lovely wishes. Welcome back. This is part two of the Q&A video. Uh, I, that'll probably be part three, because I, mostly because I'm, I'm wordy. But um, we left off yesterday, so, and I will link yesterday's video in the um, comment section, or not the comment, in the, you know what I mean. You know, it's down there. Um, so we are going to, we're, we're back with Sue Fisher. Um, the next question she asks is, why do you like friction pens? I like that they have a really sharp point. Um, uh, I, I, they come in lots of colors. <laughs> I don't know. I just do. They just, they work really well for me. Um, who does the cooking in your house? My husband. My husband does the cooking. Um, I met my husband when, um, I, my children were teenagers, like about ready to graduate from high school. And, um, he just decided that if I had been cooking and doing everything for all these years and he had been not, he did not have a family, um, that he would do it. So and he's a way better cook than I am. Way better. Anita, what is the tattoo on your arm? Is there a special meaning for it? Do you have others? No, I only have one. It is, it says, as you wish. Um, my children went through a stage, my daughter especially, but they, both of them, uh, a Princess Bride movie stage where, boy, I swear, I could quote that movie. It was on all the time. And um, I would take them to school and drop them off and, you know, see you, I love you. And they would go, oh, really? Could you not do that? I love you. It's a good Maybe we could just like goodbye and that would be enough. So, and if you're not familiar in the book or in the movie, but well, both, cause there's a book. Um, when Wesley wants to tell Buttercup he loves her without saying he loves her, he says, as you wish. So it, I would say to the kids, as you wish. So that was that little love letter. Then when I met my husband, he introduced us to the book and um, I'm not a good sleeper, and so frequently he would read to me from the book, and so the tattoo became a love letter to my family. So it's, start, I'm starting to get old lady skin, you know. Um, I don't have any other ones, but that doesn't mean that I won't. Um, it was not a horrible experience. I mean, it was painful, but not like horrible, painful. So I'm always looking for the next, for the next one. Uh, Carol K, how do you bind your quilts? Hand stitch, backside, machine, machine, both sides. Um, I machine stitch on the binding. And then if my favorite way to do it is to hand stitch it. And I know it's tedious. Let's just say tedious, but I way prefer the way that they end up looking when they are hand stitched than when they are machine stitched. Um, quilting, do you send it out? I don't um, have, I ha no, I haven't yet. I, at some point in time, I will have a quilt that I think is so amazing that it has to go to a quilter, um, but I have not yet. Oh, hang on, I'll be back. Sorry, my daughter, phone call. Um, they're coming over this afternoon, so. Um, quilting, how do you store your fabric stash? Oh, <laughs> it's everywhere. Um, I generally use 12 by 12 inch plastic containers that I think were created to store paper, like those big, those 12 by 12 paper pads. Um, and then I store them by color. Um, but there are certain designers like Tula, um, Marsha Durs, uh, Anna Maria Horner, um, Allison Glass that I'll, that I say, like, I keep their fabrics together. Uh, and there are also some collections that I keep together. And then I also have a, another series of those plastic 12 by 12s that I, when I have a project, I put everything, all the fabric, the pattern, the whole nine yards into those bins. And then I label them what the project is. And I keep them, uh, they're, if I go this way, they're 
over there underneath that, there, there we go, that heart pillow. Those are the upcoming projects, um, things that I am ready for. Um, oh, you've seen, <laughs> you've seen the dog. I will, I'll insert a picture again of her if you would like to see Miss Dandelion. She's the bestest ever dog. She is. I We knew that getting a Labradoodle, that they were, she's actually an Australian Labradoodle, which is a whole other breed from, from Doodles. But um, she's just the best. She's just the best. Um, Karen Badger, what are your go-to notions? Anything you use all the time that might be more unusual? Hmm. My go-to notions would be my seam ripper, um, magic pins, the clippies, friction pens. I don't think I use anything like cool. Oh, I do have, I don't remember if I, I don't know what I did with them. I have pins. They're probably in with the project. I have pins. Are they here? No. Oh, here they are. <laughs> These pins, there's a whole bunch of them. And they they are a letter. Oh, you can see that. A letter on one side and a number on the other side. So when you're working on... Um, you know, something that's got a lot of pieces and you got to keep them straight. I'm sorry about my hair. I'm trying to let it dry naturally. And um, and they come in this little heart thingamajiggy and it it twists into a, I don't, it's cool. But otherwise, I don't really think I'd use anything, anything any cooler than you do. Um, how is the crochet journey coming along? <laughs> Um, uh, okay. Um, uh, my granddaughter who's 13, she's also started to crochet and, uh, she's doing way better than I am, <laughs> but she, uh, she takes it to school. Like they have break times and she can crochet at school. So, um, it's okay. It's, it's good. I'm, I, I, I got it. I'm going to, it's going to be okay. Um, what did you sew most often before you started quilting? Um, bags mostly. I really love bags, vessels, um, uh, I did sew quite a lot for myself, clothing wise. Um, that's about, yeah, I, I kind of had been going through a, a sewing blackout before I picked up quilting. So, um, 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 Roberta, I would love to know how you edit your videos. Oh, that would take, um, I use iMovie. Um, and you can tell when I'm in a hurry or I, 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 because like this, when I go to turn off the button, sometimes I take the time to edit that out and sometimes I don't. But, um, I know there are a lot of other, like my granddaughter tells me frequently that I'm using the boring one that I should be using a cooler one, but iMovie works for me for right now anyway. And, um, I use Soundstripe for music and Canva which helps me do graphic, like the beginning graphic at the beginning of every um, video. What is the project you have loved the most? The Northwoods quilt. That's, yeah, the Northwoods quilt. Um, that's sweet. Roberta, she said, for me, it's my first quilt for my mom. That's lovely. Have you ever given up on a project, put it away, and still haven't gotten back to it? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. A couple times. What is the one thing you enjoy most other than sewing? I'm going to just go with hobby-wise or uh, reading for sure. I read a lot. Um, I, I would, I would used to have said knitting. I, I also knit, um, a whole bunch, but, um, since we're tremoring now, 
it I if you're a knitter you will get this I knit continental where I pick off of my finger instead of wrapping I pick it off and my left hand shakes the most and I can't it it's it's frustrating so I don't I do a little I still do a little but not as much as I used to um We know how talented your sister is, but do your kids enjoy sewing as much as you do? Oh, mm -mm. I was just saying to my husband the other day, you know, they always say that your example, you live the example and your kids are going to, they don't read, they don't do anything. My daughter is artsy. Um, she's always been artsy. She's drawn and painted and, and that kind of thing. But um, as far as sewing goes, uh, no. Do, this is Corrine, do you have any baking for Christmas? And if you do, what do you make? Nope. I used to make um, spritz cookies and fudge, but my, you know, we're in a whole other, my kids don't really do a lot of sweets and honestly, neither do we. And, you know, I'd, I would rather go to some place and get that sells. No, the short answer is no. Not that I don't love it. I mean, I love a cookie, but. Mm -mm. Sandra Neville, your nails are always perfect. Oh, <laughs> um, it's because I'm because you see my hands so much that I'm kind of crazy about keeping them nice. Um, I do them myself. Uh, they are either a press on. My nail things are all over here. These are are my secret. You see the static nails. These suckers are so good. They look amazing. They go on super fast. Um, they'll last for at least two weeks. I don't usually go two weeks, but um, they last for two weeks. They look really natural. Uh, I also have, will do my own gel tips. Um, so it's kind of 50-50 what you see, whether it's static nails or if I had more time, I would do my own gel tips. And once they started, I just, I like having pretty nails now and I used to only want them super short and lately I've been kind of playing with them being longer um how do I hang my quilt I put um I started by putting pockets on the corners of the back but then it will kind of drift <laughs> down in the middle um so I put a rod pocket across the back and then feed in um a either a board that can hook onto something or a, t a curtain rod. Um, in my living room, I have a pipe and hanging from the pipe are rings that have hooks on them and whatever quilt is gonna be displayed there, that's how I display it with the hooks. Judy, how many children and grandchildren do you have? Do they live near you? I have three children. Um, my oldest daughter is the one that I talked about earlier. She lives in a, um, it's a, a facility, but they have apartments. So she lives in an apartment, but she has a nurse or a CNA with her all the time. Um, my other two, my son Carl is 40. My daughter is um, 38. Kaisa is her name. Grandchildren, uh, Carl's are... Callum, Judah, uh, Maddox, and Maisie. They're, Maddox and Maisie are the twins. They're July, August, September, October, November. They're five months old now. Um, they finally got their girl. And on Kaisa's, it is Cambria and Emerson. And she was just married. And I think they're going to try for another one. So right now, I have six. But I think in the end, maybe they'll be seven. Which is awesome. They do live me, near me. They all live near me um, in the general vicinity out here. Um, do you belong to a quilt group? I do not. Um, I don't really, I'm not a joiner. That's just, it is by no means anyone's fault or, or any guild's fault or any, I just, um, I'm really uncomfortable in a, a large group of people. Even when, when I say large, I mean like 10. <laughs> um, and I just, I, no, and I don't think that will ever change. I could be, you know, I could be wrong, but, um, 
scrunchions another name i adore um do you add batting to your quilts with minky or just the minky in the quilt top i do not add batting um i the people at the lovely people at the fabric patch said that adding adding batting will make it very very warm and it is already very warm so no i do not and the minky gives it the um it feels like it's got batting in it so um we're up <laughs> to 15 minutes again so i'm gonna end this one here and i might put them uh i might make them all go live on the same day but at least you don't have to sit here for you know you can take a few and then move on so i'm gonna let this one go and then i will be back for part three <laughs>